Uh, right, so my name is Lee Thorne, aka Dax79 Cosplay, or just Dax79. And I'm here to talk about uh, my walkthrough of how I built um, my cosplay that I have entered into this competition. Uh, this is that red pyramid thing, or mostly known as Pyramid Head, from the video game Silent Hill 2, which is out on the PS2 uh, and PC. So I'll start off with the helmet. Um, the helmet is made out of floor polystyrene sheets uh, and I've used EVA foam um, floor mats for all the pillars uh, and the, 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 the actual panels around it and the underfin. I've used something called polymorph um, to make all the indentations around the, the port on the front uh, and the spike on top of the helmet. Uh, inside there is uh, just a simple um, hat that I got from a, a charity shop to hold it in place and um, to keep the realism uh, of not looking through the hole here um, I've put battle damage around the helmet uh, and this battle damage actually is what I see through so when I'm at a convention or on stage or whatever um, I can see in the costume. So that's the helmet. Um, to paint it I did something called crackling um, it's a painting um, method I'd never used before. Um, you paint it in um, acrylic paint uh, and then um, once it's dry you put um, a PVA glue on it, you dry it with a hairdryer until it goes tacky. When it starts to stretch you put red paint on it and then you get a hairdryer on that and it stretches and gives these sort of cracks and crackling which um, is a technique that I've fallen in love with, it's amazing, it looks really good. Uh, he looks very red um, because I went for the colour scheme from the computer game. Now when you play the game it's a lot darker so if it's on a convention floor or under bright lights it can look too red but this is deliberate it's so that when you're in a dark environment when you're in the shadows the red can show so that's why it's that this bright you might wonder why um so i've got the great knife um this is a 3d mid model file it's from the computer game it's been put into splicer and uh, basically dismantled big enough to fit onto a printer bed of a peruser i3 uh, and then printed, and then once it's printed out of PLA plastic, it's been glued back together with a, a piece of plastic down the centre as the, the shaft, so it can it doesn't fall apart. Um, the tumour on the back of his head, this is one thing a lot of cosplayers um, actually don't do when they make this costume, which is such a shame because it's quite a, a creepy part of him. Uh, the the tumour is actually just a piece of the cloth from the... Um, uh, from the smock. Uh, the smock is uh, uh, an old um, robe thing that I found that was getting thrown away at a church. Uh, I then uh, dismantled it, took off the arms and uh, and uh, sewed up the front, sewed up the bottom, sewed up some, made some little leg holes um, for my legs and then with the remaining material I created the tumour um, which then um, I filled up with old socks <laughs> uh, and then I put some string on it, painted it up um, with acrylic paint because what I had lying around and it matches the helmet, it's great. And then um, I've put um, uh, a PVA glue over it to give it a glistening effect. Uh, in a perfect world, before going on stage or something, I'd probably give it a good spray with something, um, water or some sort of light misty thing, maybe a little bit of Vaseline just to make things shimmer a little bit. Uh, so yeah, the robe, it was the first time I've ever sewed anything before any of the work here you're seeing. I basically went onto a um, e-cycle page, uh, asked if anyone had a sewing machine, got given a sewing machine and then did that robe. And then uh, his murder mittens as they're known in the, the Silent Hill world, the gloves, just basically made some gloves, sewed them up. Can I tell you what stitching I used? No, because uh, I just used the setting on the machine that I got, I got the machine, it was already on some settings, so I presumed the person who had it before me knew what they were doing, so then I used the settings off that. And that's basically a run through of him. Uh, he does wear wellies as well. They're just, uh, unfortunately, I didn't make those. They're just welly boots off uh, Amazon. Um, so that's my red pyramid thing um, from Saturn Hall 2. Um, I hope you like what I've made. Well, obviously it made it in, thank you very much. And um, I hope you enjoy his little uh, performance piece stroke walk-on um, that you'll be watching with this um, video. 
that sends an out. <laughs>